Today, we're gonna to discuss prospecting tools in network marketing. First, I'm gonna share the best type of tool that I've liked for over 10 years. Next, I'm gonna share the number one concept that will dictate whether you make money or not. And lastly, I'm actually gonna share with you some from a, a very helpful guide that we've created. I'm actually gonna take some snippets from this guide that I think will really help you in how to do a better job at prospecting. So what is my favorite approach that I've loved for over 10 years? And this is something surely you're aware of, but maybe you're wondering if it's still the best thing, and that is the recorded video. I always, always, always loved using a recorded video when I was prospecting and getting people exposed to the product or the opportunity, but especially the opportunity because around opportunity, I want duplication. I did not want to hop on a Zoom and me do the presentation because then they think they will have to do the presentation or they think that they'll have to get their reps on a live Zoom with me. People that argue for live presentations, their number one argument is, oh, well, I close more people if I do it that way. You know what? Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I do believe that with a live presentation, you can close more people. But with a recorded video, you can just get a whole lot more people on there. So it's not percentage wise that I'm so concerned with, it's duplication. You know, I'm talking to people in, in Australia where it's, you know, nighttime, it's 5 a.m. in Florida. Like, you know, I'm talking to people in different time zones. I don't wanna be running myself ragged by doing all these live videos. I wanna be able to get them on a tool that I could have a thousand people on at the same time and not have an issue and all throughout different time zones. And so the recorded video is, I think, the key. And that doesn't mean to only use a recorded video, but you should definitely have a recorded video that you can use if you're prospecting someone and they wanna know more information about that. Get them on the video. One thing that you can do to help them increase your chances, to help you increase your chances of getting them on a video is to say, hey, I got this video. It does a much better job than I could do of explaining it. Uh, you know, When can you get a chance to watch this video? Now, if they push back on you, if they push back and say, oh, I, I don't wanna watch a video, you know, like just, just, just tell me about it. I used to say, you know, the reason we have you watch the video is just to make sure it's a fit for you or not. Because you may watch the video and decide it's not a fit for you. And that's very possible. But the video is the way that, oh, by the way, if you wanted to build a business, you would actually get people to watch this same video. And so there's a lot of tricks, there's a lot of psychology that you can use when using a recorded video, but it's something that for the most duplication, we love recorded videos. So what is this number one concept to make more money in network marketing? It really comes down to one word and that's pipeline. Pipeline is the number of people you reach out to, the number of people you follow up with, the number of appointments you're setting, the number of recorded videos you're sending out, or the number of people you're getting on a live presentation. And, and so you have to track this and pay attention to this. And, and it's something that is just so important to unlock the mystery of why you may be making money or, or why you're not. A lot of people come into this, this industry and they think that it's just magical or mystical and that because they're in, they should be making money. And the truth is you should be making money if you're doing the work. And the work is reaching out to other humans and seeing if they're open to your product, service, or opportunity. That's the work. And, and so if you're not doing the work, you shouldn't be making money. And so people will come up to me and say, well, I wanna be a top earner in my company. And I'll know with one question, if they're on the path or if they're not. How many people did you ask last week if they were open to your product, service, or opportunity. And if they say, well, I'm waiting on business cards, or, oh, well, it was pretty busy last week, then they ain't on the path. If they give me an answer that's in the single digits, meaning zero to nine, they're not on a top earner path. Now, that doesn't mean that they're failing or that they can't make any money in network marketing, but it just they're just not on the top earner path. You know, you have to be talking to at least double digits every single week and asking them, People, are you open to my product, service, or opportunity? Are you open to learning more? So pipeline is your friend. That's something you need to embrace. You need to embrace the idea that you're gonna have either a, a journal, you know, we have a, a 90 day journal or a, an electronic way of tracking, but you need a way to track your prospects. When are you following up with them? When are you setting appointments with? And without that pipeline in any kind of sales environment, whether it's car sales, real estate sales, you know, fill in the blank, you're not making money if you don't have a pipeline. Before I get to my last point, I would love to hear from you. What's your take? Do you 
like recorded videos or do you like using recorded videos in prospecting or does it have to be a live? Give me your argument. Tell me which, which one do you prefer? Which one have you seen more success with? I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to know a little bit more about you. So drop me a comment and let's get into that last point. All right. So I want to share with you one of our guides. It's our social media script book. And I'm actually going to be pulling some information from this script book. And it's something that by the way, if you wanted to grab it, you can. I'll put a link down in, in the description. Um, but I want to pull something from this. So first of all, price objection. Have you ever had someone tell you that, oh, that's overpriced, right? Well, one of the things, one of the things that we share in here, which I, which I love and has worked so, so well, is, you know, our owners could have used cheaper products, but they really wanted something that works. If this actually helped your problem, right? Weight loss, energy, or, or whatever, uh, would it be worth it, right? So that's really powerful because it, it insinuates that the cheaper products don't work, which is a pretty safe assumption. A lot of cheaper products don't work. I don't have the time. You ever get this one, right? Uh, I, don't, I just don't have the time to do this kind of thing. Well, if you truly don't have any time, you may, you may need at least something like what I have more than I thought. Another way that you can say it is, when will you have time? Is there, is there a time in your life where you will have more time? And because if you don't, then don't you need to do something about that? Then run ragged all the time? And so we just have nonstop, just how to overcome different objections. Let me think about it. I don't have any money. And I'll just share with you quickly, what, if someone tells you, hey, I don't have the money, and this is, this is in, the, in, the, in the script book, but if someone says, I don't have the money, you say, okay, cool. So you're saying you don't have X in your bank account or on a credit card. Is that right? So let's say it's $500 for, for them to join your company or 200 or whatever, right? So let's say it's 500 bucks. So you don't have $500 in your bank account or on the credit card. Is that right? And uh, nope, nope, don't have it. Okay. How far off are we? This is a very important question because if you don't ask that question, then you're arguing for the full amount. I've had people say 40 bucks. I've had people say 10 bucks, right? And so like, you know, you, you want to find out, okay, is this something they wanna do? If you had the money, would you move forward? And if they say yes to that, then how far off are we? Well, I, don't, I, only, have, I only have $450. Okay, how could we come up with the other 50? I've had people call upon people that owed them. I've had people do yard sales. I've had people sell their stuff. And you know, this may sound funny, like, you're asking people to sell stuff. I'm not really asking them. They're choosing to. And, and it all sounds funny until you have someone that sells their stuff to go on to become successful. You know, one of our students, uh, Michelle Eldridge, you know, she actually sold her kids' toys. And I, I didn't recruit her, but she's one of our amazing stories in our community. She sold her kids' toys to join that network marketing company and went on to be in the top 2% of that company. And so until you see someone who makes a sacrifice like that and does something out of the ordinary, then goes on to create success, then it's not so funny. It's actually a really amazing and powerful story. Now, if you want to check out all the ways that we help you with overcoming objections and what to say, how to stay postured, make sure you grab our social media script guide. This was recently updated. We updated it a, a couple months ago and I'll put the link down in the description. Feel free to click it. Uh, you'll see some of our other tools over there, but this is a prospecting tool that I think will really help you fit in your back pocket, fix it, fits in a purse, and it's something that'll really help you with what to say.